All right. Good evening, everybody. This is WRFN 434 Net Control for the National GMRS Net. This net meets every Sunday at 6 Mountain in Arizona, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern. To be a part of this net, you must have first checked in through one of the regional nets on the MyGMRS network or online via MyGMRS.com slash nets. There is no roll call or open check-in for this net. Please note that this is a directed net, meaning all traffic should be con coordinated by net control. If there is any emergency or priority traffic at any point, please feel free to break in at any time. Also, a reminder to uh, let the repeater's carrier drop between transmissions due to the large number of repeaters tied in this evening. Does anybody have any general announcements or messages for the national net? Please give your call sign now. Okay, nothing heard. Tonight's topic is as follows. Um, do you keep a stash of emergency supplies at home, and what do you include? Again, uh, tonight's uh, national net topic is do you keep a stash of emergency supplies at home, and what do you include in your stash? We will now begin the roundtable discussion for stations checked in for this net. If you'd like to make suggestions for future topics, please feel free to throw out any ideas during your turn. Stand by for a roundtable. All right, it looks like first up here I have WRJY751 Charles in Alabama. All right, nothing heard from Charles. How about WRAW599, Keith in Arizona? All right, nothing heard from Keith. How about Santos, WRJB937, Santos in Arizona? WRJB937, I'm here. And... Some of the emergency supplies that I do keep at home it includes first aid kits, which that's kind of the most basic thing everybody should have. Uh, I have packed water bottles, MREs, some of the dog food. And in the worst case scenario, I do have my weapons that are clean, ready for action. I have plenty of extra ammo. But uh, I think the most important thing that everybody should have is needs to be some way to survive for about two weeks at least of, with food and water. And if you have pets, make sure you have enough food for them as well. All right. Thank you, Santos. That's a great suggestion for the pets there. I know oftentimes people uh, tend to overlook that aspect of uh, any type of emergency prepping that they got going on. Um, okay. We'll move on to uh, WQZN656, Kino in Arizona. Kino, do you, uh, do you keep any emergency supplies stashed at home? And uh, if so, what, uh, what do you include? Yeah, that uh, in the last uh, last from there, I mentioned that I retired from uh, working for the federal government for a while, and part of that was going towards disasters. I spent a lot of time around different disasters and and picked up quite a few uh, quite a few things that a lot of people don't think about. Uh, and we do. Uh, well, the wife and I keep a lot of uh, a, pr a pretty good stockpile of stuff. I, I think the number one rule of Fight Club. You know, I'm not going to talk a lot about what we've got, but just remind people that. Uh, there's things that they forget, uh, over-the-counter medicines, personal hygiene items, uh, even some cash. I've seen times where you could buy a Rolex watch for 100 bucks cash because, uh, you know, credit cards are not working and uh, people need a place to stay. And, and at that point, even having $50 or $100 in cash is a big deal. But take a look at the over-the-counter medicines. Take a look at the uh, personal hygiene items. Um, you know, we all think about food and firearms and stuff like that. But uh, think about what you need to really get through the day comfortably. You know, those are some great points, man. We sure appreciate that. Good looking out there. Uh, we'll move on to WREZ 948, Brian in Arizona. I've got the, pretty much the basics, the medical supplies for the most common stuff, 
um, plenty of food to last probably a month or so at this point. Um, i trying to think what else. I've got enough lights, batteries, all, all that stuff, uh, cash, you name it. I've got enough to keep, the other thing is for emergency stuff is keep your mind active and whatnot, otherwise you're going to be losing your mind up, just being stuck where you are. The most, most likely thing is a local weather-based emergency. Power outages, uh, we are hurting, stuff like that. So, semi-pointless to plan for end of the world. So, plan for the normal, normal things that you always hear about in the news that happen in places based on your location. Uh, WREZ948. Hey, those are some great points as well there, Brian. We appreciate it, man. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for jumping in there. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, uh, like uh, Kino said as well, you know, plan for, uh, you know, all the things you're going to need to be comfortable throughout the day, and uh, you should be able to cover all, cover all your bases. Just to kind of throw out there, another great resource is, uh, you know, FEMA, uh, ready.gov, I believe is their website or something like that. They've uh, actually got lists, checklists you can download and print out, and they'll help you jog your memory and your mind and remember things that you uh, probably other otherwise wouldn't. Uh, but yeah, okay, this is WRFM434 for ID. We'll move on to another station in Arizona here, WRJB699, Matthew. Well, good evening, everybody. This is WRJB699 uh, here in Vista, Arizona. And uh, I've got, uh, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill standard stuff. We've got food for for a week, two weeks. Uh, extra water, um, and then we've also got uh, some some go bags. Those lines, and uh, you know we're we're slowly building it back up. Um, we sold our home, lived in our travel trailer. Now we're back in another home, so uh, now that we're in a home, and we have the ability to uh, stock up on a few more items. We're uh, we're getting back to where we need to be. And uh, thanks for running the net. Back to net control. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Matthew. We sure appreciate that, man. Uh, we'll move on to WREM473, Chris in California. All right. Nothing heard from Chris. How about uh, WRDE716, Jeff in Florida? All right, nothing heard from Jeff. How about WQRK three zero seven Dan in Illinois? How about WRAL nine three nine Vincent in Illinois? WRAL nine three nine Vincent from Oak Forest, Illinois. Sadly, I am not prepared. That's why I'm I'm looking. I'm listening to you guys. I should be. I should have something. And I'm not. So I'm embarrassed. Um, back to you. That can, thanks a lot for ha handling the net. WRAL 939 is clear. Yeah, hey, no worries. Uh, thanks for piping in there, Vincent. Definitely nothing to be uh, embarrassed about, man. Uh, just uh, look at it as room for improvement, man, for sure. Uh, it's not something that everyone likes to think about, less, let alone, uh, you know, spend money money on. Um, but, uh, yeah, food for thought, man. Thanks for joining us. Uh, next up in Illinois, I have uh, WRFP921, Dave. P921, Dave. Uh, I have ammo, uh, and just today I bought a generator. Well, congratulations on the new purchase there, Dave. Right on. That's uh, definitely a, a uh, good piece of equipment to have laying around, especially when you need one. So, uh, right on. I hope you get lots of uh, lots of use out of it, but not in uh, definitely not in an emergency situation. 
Um, all right, we'll move on to WRFR 502 Artie in Illinois. Head control, this is WRFR 502. So I keep uh, uh, camp food, uh, like uh, Chef 4 RV, lasagna, or ravioli. I keep uh, beans, uh, different types of beans, and I keep water. Enough water uh, to last me a month. The same is true with the Chef Boyle RD and the, uh, the beans. Also keep a battery, a working battery, so I can operate my radio, the radio. Uh, I uh, have first aid equipment, and uh, I have a... Hey, Artie, I think you timed out there. I think you left off at first aid equipment. Did you uh, have anything else you wanted to say there? All right, nothing else heard from Artie there. We lost him. Uh, we'll move on to WRHR 494, Tim in Illinois. All right, how about WRKC 452, Will? All right, and we're going to move on here to WQYB545 Charles in Indiana. Bravo, Charlie. I heard someone key up there. I'll try that one again. WQYB545 Charles in Indiana. All right, moving on, WRDE 566, Tim. WRDE 566, Tim, Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, I've got a camper, a couple generators, um, ammo, yeah, plenty of food, so it's, and several first aid kits, so it's pretty much how I've got everything set up right now. Thanks for running that. Have a good night. All right, Tim. Thanks for that, man. We appreciate you throwing in your two cents there and hopefully giving others some ideas on uh, what they should be holding on to. Uh, let's see. We'll move on to uh, WREZ 988 Mark. How about WPYZ662, Gary? All right, we'll move on to uh, New Mexico. We'll start off with WQJI810, Russell in New Mexico. Hey, Dom, thank you for being it, sir. And uh, sorry I missed you for the regional there. I was. Uh Hanging out with kids, man. Uh, it's always fun. Anyway, um, you know, I wouldn't say that we're really uh, prepping per se, but we do have uh, just kind of the usual, some food and some money and uh, enough stuff to make it a little while because we've been through a few storms where we didn't have power for a little while and uh, even worse, uh, um, there could always be water outages or power outages where we live here. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. We'll uh, we'll catch with catch up with you later there, and thank you for running the net, sir. Appreciate it. WQ JI one zero. Cool. Right on. Thanks for sharing, Russ. We sure appreciate it, man. Uh, we'll let you get back to them kiddos there. Uh, let's see. Next up, we'll try uh, WQLS two zero three Leverett in New Mexico.
All right. How about WREE380, Brett, in New Mexico? As the Whisker Romeo Echo Echo 380, New Mexico. Yeah. Um, I just try to do the normal stuff. Uh, you know, water comes from the tap, so I'm still good there because I don't think that's going to go away anytime soon. Um, you know, as long as I have what I need to eat and, and uh, some food. Uh, before, you know, when everything got crazy or whatever, I, I went out and bought a turkey because it was cheap. It was uh, 48 cents a pound. Did that. Got up, so I have leftovers to there. So, you know, just kind of the, the goodies. But uh, some people freak out too much. And people need to relax and, and enjoy life. And, and that's what it's about. I mean, that's what we're about. Uh, if we, uh, if, you, if you freak out too much, then, uh, then I'm sorry, and and uh, take a deep breath, and and we'll we'll survive because we have to. We can hunt it, and we can kill it, and we can eat it. Hey, Brett, thanks for those words of wisdom, brother. We sure appreciate you joining us tonight, man. Right on. All right, we'll move on to uh, WRFH five five seven unit one, Dwayne. Uh, this is 557 Dwayne. Uh, yeah, uh, like a gentleman said earlier, you know, number one rule of fight stuff, so don't really talk about it. Um, but I made a little list here of some things that, um, that I think that you know, we should all kind of have on hand. Uh, what, some of the things we do, uh, we get the five gallon food buckets and we fill them. We use the mylar bags to seal our food. Uh, we keep plenty of medical supplies and turn, including tourniquets should know how to use those. We keep um, EDT bags in all of our cars. We have medical supplies, um, navigation equipment. Um, I also buy and repair old lanterns. Um, so if the power goes out, we're able to provide a uh, source of light in our house. Uh, I do multiple uh, heating sources, firewood, propane, kerosene. Obviously, radio is the best thing to do things. Uh, we did a homemade uh, quarter wave uh, antenna on the roof for simple as can see power outage. But hey, Dwayne, are you still there? I think you uh, timed out. WRFM 434. Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, uh, favorite topic of mine. I could go forever, but um, real quick. Um, also, um, coins. Um, Got to keep coins on hand. Um, learn some skills, building things, anything like that. And also, last, um, edible plants. Keep you know edible plants in the yard um, for backup food. Um, that's all I have. Hey, Dwayne, definitely thanks for sharing, man. Those are some great ideas, and uh, hopefully you provided people with some food for thought. Uh, for ID purposes, this is WRFN434, and it uh, just happens to be that I'm next on the list here. Uh, I definitely don't consider myself a prepper or, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know anything of the sorts. I, I, I am a camper. Uh, I have a family of uh, four kids, a wife, and a dog, and we do a lot of camping, and so I'm fortunate to uh, own a lot of camping gear. And so I just, uh, you know, I figure if, uh, if worse comes to worse and I had to, I could break out the old camping gear and set up a pretty comfortable camp somewhere. Um, you know, I, I keep the propane tanks full and, you know, my wife does an excellent job of keeping our freezer and fridge full of groceries for us. So, um, you know, we don't go crazy with the uh, with the preps or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I've got a big family, so we keep a pretty gnarly first aid kit on, on hand usually all the time wherever we're at. Um, and, yeah, just... Uh, um, you know, I guess it's my responsibility ultimately at the end of the day for uh, my family's safety and their well-being. And, you know, some of us take that a little more uh, serious than others. And uh, who's right or who's wrong, who knows, you know, but uh, whatever works for you. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it a break here. All right, next up I'm going to be looking for WRJW612 Enrique in New Mexico. 
WRJW612. This is Andrew Kim. We keep some extra food, uh, mainly for our neighbors. We live in a crowded neighborhood. Uh, we keep some stuff in the trunk uh, for folks who may be having a hard time. Uh, hand warmers, water, snacks, and a couple extra first aid kits just in case. Uh, and we also grow some food uh, in the front yard so folks can pick and we can have some extra if needed. That's pretty cool, Enrique. I like the idea of uh, growing some extra food for folks who need it. Right on, man. Thanks for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you checking in with us. Uh, next up is WRCV353, Pat, in New York. Mexicans never do nothing fucking good. Uh... All right. How about WRJC995, Brian, in New York? Good evening. Uh, so up, upstate New York here, you know, uh, we keep kerosene heater on hand and a lot of extra kerosene. You know, staying warm in the cold is probably my biggest concern in the winter. Um, water, a lot of water. Usually uh, there's a bunch of glass crawlers. We always pull them up and fill them up before any forecast and storm or incremental weather like that. Bottled water, batteries, pretty much batteries of all sizes. Uh, flashlights. Uh, usually fill the cars up with gasoline, make sure they're topped off. Uh, we've got a backup uh, water power stump uh, in case the power goes out. Keep the basement dry. Oil lander. Uh, scanner radio. Always listening in to what's going on in the community here. Food. Uh, usually a dry pantry type stuff. Rice, beans, canned goods. Uh, family of five years, so usually a lot of rice, a lot of beans. Certainly this spring stocked up uh, pretty heavy compared to normal with that kind of food. First aid kit, blankets, also a UPS, um, you know, an uninterruptible power supply for the computer, the laptop, the TV, you know, some pretty heavy duty ones with some pretty long run times. The TV's on uh, just over the air broadcast there, so a lot of different ways to stay in touch with what's going on. WRJC995. Hey, Brian, we sure, we sure uh, appreciate you tuning in and uh, joining us tonight. Those are some great ideas, and I'm sure a lot of people got some good ideas and food for thought there. So thanks again for uh, tuning in tonight and uh, checking in with us. Next up, uh, we have one more station from New York here. It's WRJG949 Miles in New York. All right, nothing heard from Miles. How about WQPW317, Stephen? All right, nothing heard from Stephen. How about uh, WRAF986, Gideon, I believe? Hi, good morning. That's what I'm talking about. RAF 986. WRAF 986. Um, hi, from Puerto Rico. I think the, the most important thing is to have a plan with the family and also have a plan to shelter what you will be doing and after the emergency. Having a um, evacuation plan and um, how will be your plan for communication between the other about the uh, plan inside the home will be needed a uh, work food, flashlight, radio, uh, battery operated radio, um, extra batteries very important. That is all for me. Thank you. Good night. From all right. Hey, thank you so much for joining us uh, tonight, 986. I believe that's the first uh, point of, you're the first point of contact I've had with anybody uh, outside of the uh, United States there. So, uh, 
thanks for joining us, man. And uh, I bet you're speaking from experience, huh? Um, I'm, I'm sure you've uh, weathered a few storms there. I know uh, you guys are uh, constantly du ducking and dodging those uh, tropical storms that blow through there. So I'm sure you're speaking from experience. Again, thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Uh, next up, we have WRFZ289. Uh, I believe it's Jose uh, from Puerto Rico as well. All right, nothing heard there. How about WQXS658, Terry in Texas? All right, nothing heard from Terry. How about WREZ914, Mark? Hey, Mark, I think you timed out there. We lost you, buddy. I think you left off uh, where you said you could just kind of grab it to walk around the house there. Did you want to wrap that up? Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I'm in there. My time's good enough. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's my to-go bag. Uh, it's just uh, an immediate, you know, what What do I need tonight? Um, yeah, if it's, uh, it's a week, we could probably stay uh, hunkered down here during a hurricane or something. But if it's a zombie apocalypse, up this worst group. Back to you, Nick and Joel. Right on, Mark. Thanks for sharing, man. And again, I'm sure you're speaking from experience, uh, having weathered some uh, gnarly storms there in Texas. So thanks for sharing. We really appreciate it. Um, next up in Texas, we have WRJS258, Will. Well, good evening. We um, we have a, a, you know, a few things just that, like most what everyone else has mentioned. Uh, we're in the business of um, generator systems, inverter systems, batteries, and recreational vehicles. So we, we always uh, do a lot of off-grid camping with solar panels, batteries, you know, using the, the golf cart uh, battery bank as, uh, you know, to run inverters and uh, large stock pile of the um, propane to, to run the inverters and stuff. So we, um, it's just kind of a way of life for us, as well as all the medical supplies, water reclaim systems, all that stuff. So, just be prepared for whatever's happening. So it's it's kind of always been a way of life for us, and we we enjoy it. Uh, just being prepared and being as sustainable as possible. Uh, it's about all we had. WRGS back to net five eight. Hey, Will, there's nothing wrong with that, man. That's uh, that's my kind of way of life there for sure, man. I uh, definitely appreciate it. We sure appreciate you checking in with us here tonight and uh, giving us your two cents. Uh, next up in Texas, it looks like we have WRJY451, Ming Hao in Texas. All right, nothing heard there. How about WRKC279, Richard? All right, nothing heard from Richard. How about WREN713, Rod, in Wisconsin? All right, and our last station for the night, WRFX851, Karen, are you there? 
Well, yes, I am here, and I'm glad uh, to say good evening to everyone. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, Karen. We sure appreciate it. Uh, Karen, do you uh, tell us, do you keep a stash of emergency supplies at home? And uh, if so, what, what do you include in that stash? Well, actually, no, I don't. Um, I've, I mean, in case something happens, I have a brother that's got like six bins of prepper food. But um, I think other than canned tuna, I really don't. Um, prepare much for anything beyond where I'm at. I don't go out too much anymore, but so no, actually, I don't. Hey, no worries on that, Karen. We appreciate you joining us tonight, and hopefully you uh, got some tips and ideas, maybe if you want to get started. Um, all right. Well, I think uh, Karen wrapped it up for us there. Uh, so this concludes the National GMRS Net. We had a total number of standby. Looks like we had a total number of uh, 21 check-ins for the National Net tonight. Um, if you'd like to partake in this net in the future, please remember to check in uh, to a regional net first or check in online in advance via the NETS website at mygmrs.com slash NETS. This net utilizes linked repeaters throughout the United States that are part of the MyGMRS network. Visit MyGMRS.com for more information on this network, its linked repeaters, and the GMRS service in general. Please remember to support the GMRS community you are a part of. The repeaters that you're talking into and the MyGMRS network that they are a part of does not come free or easy, and help is always appreciated in any way, shape, or form. The National GMRS Net meets every Sunday at 6 Mountain and Arizona, 7 Central and 8 Eastern. Thanks to all who checked in and the many repeater owners that helped make this net a reality. We'll see you all next time. This is WRFN 434, Dominic in Rio Rancho, returning the repeater system to its regular operation and wishing everyone a good evening.